and it's Cream picking up the assist. And now it's a three-point Warrior lead. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Extremely impressive was the rally they made. I mean, we'll see how much their comeback might have taken out of them. And, and we'll see if they can keep that foot on the pedal now. Fultz finds Van Carroll. Five to shoot. Down low. And then Carter with the jam. To me, one of the things that separates Van Carroll from others is his passing. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. It's stolen by Fultz. A fadeaway. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got eight rebounds in this game. The pass to Kaminga. Outside Curry. And it's Suggs with the rebound. Suggs has got his fourth rebound in this one. Fultz dishes to Van Carroll. Pass to Carter. And the layup falls. Carter's got 10 points in just the second half. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Curry passes to Wiggins. Curry with the bounce pass. Shot clock at six. Green kicks to Thompson. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists tonight. Their third three-pointer in a row. Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment here. And Carroll passes the corner. And then Carter with the dunk. Just a real solid understanding of how to exploit the defense. Carter Jr. impressive at positioning himself in these situations. Higgins outside. Fultz against Curry. Elbow shot is on the way. And he gets it to go. Curry's got four this quarter. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's at high. And Caro outside. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his sixth rebound on the night. Nice take from Curry. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Suggs passes to Carter. Good. Carter's got it all tied up now for Orlando. Boy, good vision that time from Suggs on this play. Finding the most ready shooter and fed him nicely. Now here's Thompson. Guarded close. Suggs with the steal. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on Thompson. And the future Suggs has is certainly promising. An effective combo guard can really get it going at times. Two shots. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one for the Magic. Mo Wagner's checked in for Wagner. And Anthony's subbed in for Markel Fultz. Then for the Warriors, Kevon Looney is checked in for Green. Charge comes in for Jonathan Kaminga. And Paul's subbed in for Clay Thompson. And he makes both free throws. Mark, in recent years, Orlando's been one of the league's bigger teams. Well, you can see clearly, Kevin, that the front office prioritizes length. Uh, you don't ever have to really worry about them playing small ball. That's the sub. And taken away by Paul. They're running. And here we go. Oh, oh, oh. A spectacular move. Wiggins' elevation, body control, strength, elite across the board. 
Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Anthony. And Caro outside. And it's Looney with the rebound. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Anthony, the pass to Suggs. And that one, good. And that's 10 points for Jalen Suggs. And we'll get a look at how the Hustlestat game has been going for Orlando. All game long, they've had active hands and, and really out in the passing lanes. And that aggression on defense has resulted in a ton of steal. I love the fact they've done tremendous work on the offensive glass. A lot of second chance opportunities as they've kept that ball alive. And he gets the bucket. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Warriors trail by four. Passes it to Looney. Back to Paul. They set the screen. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And, you know, this is where Paul likes to work his magic. Very effective at making the right pass in the pick and roll. Anthony against Paul. Carter with a screen on Paul. Carter outside. Orlando moving the ball around. Down to five on the shot clock. Anthony down low, defended by Paul. And Anthony with the basket on the assist from Carter. Anthony really does everything well on the floor. He's a true point guard, and all of it's on display here. Paul looking around. And easy two points on the lane. Paul's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Showing some muscle on the interior. You can see why they go to him at this stage of the game because he knows how to deliver. Anthony kicks to Suggs. The shot by Carter. Nobody around. From outside, off the mark. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. Now the pass to Paul. Outside Curry. To take the lead. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. Van Carroll with the ball. Now defended by Wiggins. Back to Anthony. Wagner has screen on Paul. And here's Anthony from the yard. Tries again. Here's Carter. And at last, they get one to fall. Carter's got 21. And with the game and the balance here in the fourth, he's been unflappable. Six of eight from the field, providing them with some big buckets. Paul can't get it to go. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. But you're a screen on charge. Paul against Anthony. That will fall for his seventh bucket. Seven for 15 in this game. Efficiency has been the hallmark right now down the stretch. He is making the most of his opportunity. Paul finds Curry. Now here's Shorich to the inside. Here's Paul. That balls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got his sixth assist on the night. Here's Anthony. Wagner has screen on Paul. Here's Anthony. Anthony missing again. Tell you what, that is a missed opportunity from mid-range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that one. Pass to Paul. Curry from deep three-point land. And again for three. Night in and night out. 
you can count on him to stretch the defense and just open up the floor. Would you believe he's now tied time for out, fifth most triples in a single season? It's Start. amazing. Pulling even with Steph Curry, who in 2017 also hit 324 threes. We'll see where it goes from here. This is going to be fun to track. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Hans Wagner's checked in for the match. Colts comes in for Cole Anthony. Then for the Warriors, Raymond Green, he's checked in for Kavon Looney. Jonathan Kaminga comes in for Sharich. Vince Thompson in for Chris Paul. Stolen by Curry. Wiggins up top. It's tipped. Wagner, so good with his hands, but he's a smart defender, too. Positioned himself well to come away with that block. And here's Van Carroll. He'll bring it up for the Orlando Magic. Guarded by Curry. And Kaminga comes to help. Volts kicks to Wagner. The basket good off the assist from Volts. Volts has got three assists in the game. As the game gets tight late and the stakes rise, you need guys who are willing and able to step up. Thompson outside. Fires the three. Good! Thompson makes it look so easy. And this is why they go to Thompson. The coaches, his teammates, they all trust in his ability to deliver. Here's the lob to Van Carroll. It's stolen by Kaminga. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Neither team here in the fourth generating a lot of separation. Yeah, it's been a close one. Five times the lead has switched hands thus far. And it's Van Carroll missing. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. They double-team Curry. And the wide-open shot from Green. That three off the mark. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Van Carroll outside. Takes the 13-footer. Carter, the pass to Fultz. Orlando moving the ball. Just four to shoot. Shot on the wing. Draymond Green pulls it in. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Curry finds Thompson. Places one from three. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. And Carroll outside. It's in! And he has brought them to within two points. Beautiful play that time by Van Carroll. He's got a lot of special qualities. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Yeah, exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. This isn't a done deal yet, but they have got to move quick. They've got to go all out trying to force a turnover here. Back to Fultz. Let's it go from deep. Bullseye! Raise the roof for Fultz. Get those hands up for him now. Excels at taking over during key possession. Timeout called the Warriors. They trail by one. We've got 13 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Is what's your take? Yeah, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And we call those ATOs. Four plays run after a timeout. They often make the difference in a game. We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Curry kicks to Thompson. He's off. 
from three. And you'll never see Draymond shrink away from the big moments. There is no lack of confidence in that young man. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They're behind by one. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what do you think? Guys, it all comes down to this. One shot to win the game. They have just enough time to run a play. That'll lead to a catch and shoot here on the inbound. Maybe one quick pass and then get it up. Here's Fultz. Oh, oh my goodness! goodness. Oh, that. Down they oh, go at the buzzer. Oh, oh. Oh. Get any better than that? Phenomenal finish. A three at the horn. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I guess really, that's about the only way we could expect a game like this to close the third. And so the big win by Orlando in a tight game. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Wendell. A big performance on the boards tonight. Did you expect to dominate like that coming into the game? No, I did. I just wanted to come out, put my team any way I could. So, you know, rebounds a lot. So I did what I had to do. Let the team win. You were a big part of 